It is the festive season, but for the residents of Lebanon's Beirut, who lost their loved ones in the August 4 explosion, there are no reasons to celebrate as the probe into that explosion remains inconclusive. Our next report summarizes the developments. It has been nearly five months since the deadly Beirut blast. Far from recovering from their grief, families of the victims are now leading a battle against the government as several questions remain unanswered. On August 4, 2020, the Lebanese capital changed forever. More than 200 people were killed as 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate stored at the Beirut port exploded. For years, authorities were aware that explosive materials were unsafely stored at the port. Officials also failed to respond to the tragedy on time. It took them nearly an hour to issue an alert after the explosion. Parents of three-year-old Alexandra blame the state's apathy for their daughter's death. The president, the government, the army are all uh, uh, part of it. The child was still alive when the blast struck but it took hours for her to reach the hospital due to heavy traffic. She was declared dead on arrival. The family says that no officials were present on the ground to help them. To add to their pain, authorities invited them to an event which was being held to hail the government's response to the blast. Yeah, maybe a month or a month and a half. Yeah. And the reason was that uh, what, uh, what he suggested is that uh, as a few families of the victims uh, had been uh, selected also uh, by, uh, to, for the commemoration of, of the first month or the second month, that we would go to the port actually and so that the, uh, the army and the uh, commander-in-chief would give his condolences, uh, which we didn't accept at all because uh, for us, uh, the uh, president, the government, the army are all uh, mm -hmm. part of it and uh, it's a way of washing their hands. Late firefighter Sharb El Karam died while battling the blaze in Beirut. His wife is now raising their two daughters alone. Karlin Karam feels that the first responders put their lives at risk while the government focused on covering up its mistakes. They asked her what gift she wants from Santa Claus. She told them, I want Santa to bring my dad from Beirut. She misses them and asks about them, but I wish we could do anything for her. Massive outrage by citizens forced authorities to take action against those believed to be behind the explosion. Recently, a judge investigating the blast charged Lebanon's caretaker, Prime Minister Hassan Diab, with negligence. But victims' families continue to feel betrayed as politicians deny charges against them. Bureau report, We On, World is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.